My name is Charlie and this is my pandemic story. Wake to the choice you make as to how to live now. Today, breathe. Listen behind the factory noises of your panic. How much this is a small little virus that's not visible to the naked eye impacts someone. How does affect to the family? Furthermore, how does affect the society as a whole? We got our results the end of 2019 when the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, popped up in late December. There's a worldwide controversy on whether or not China knew about the said virus but simply decided to ignore it. This happened around the date from March 11 according to CDC's on COVID-19's background status. As of April 21st, 2020, there are a total of 177,106 plus deaths total around the world. With a world total of 2,550,006 cases and 210 countries and territories worldwide according to John Hopkins University. On March 13, this whole situation suddenly got really up until then. Yes, there is fear. Yes, there is isolation. Yes, there is panic buying. Yes, there is sickness. Yes, there is even death. But they say after Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds again. People are all waking up to a new reality, to how big we really are, to how really control we really have. To what really matters to love so we pray and we remember that yes there is fear but there does not have to be hate yes there is isolation but there's that not have to be loneliness. Yes, there is panic buying, but there does not have to be menace. Yes, there is sickness, but there does not have to be disease of the soul. And yes, there is even death, but there can always be a rebirth of love. Wake to the choice you make as to how to live now. Today, breathe. Listen behind the factory noises of your panic. The birds are singing again. The sky is clearing. Spring is coming. And we are always encompassed by love.